Yo. I don't know why I didn't let you join on the other one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. Oh, I have no idea. Uh -huh, it's good to see you. Nice beer, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, uh, we was going to talk about the Timeless Knowledge Tour. What's, uh, yeah. Talk to me. What's, uh, what's been your experience? How's it, how's it landed? What's up? Um, okay, yeah. So, I, I ran through it. Basically, I was listening to it like on my drives because I have like long drives, like 45 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I think basically the number one thing that stuck out to me the most was how um, basically they were saying that I have like a, the male, or like I have to be the one that is uh, accepting the responsibility and the fault so it's like the the blame is is like always on, on me or like the responsibility is always on me um i think that previously and like even now um i kind of like that uh self-victim mentality keeps in and then like i don't take the responsibility basically for mm -hmm. for shit. um that and then how how it's pertinent that as as males we have to like build our own philosophy and then like be able, able to adhere to that even though it may be like it may hurt to the things that like we have to sacrifice it for if that makes sense mm -hmm. yeah no no like, that, that makes perfect sense um the, the, the first one um where you, where you have to be able to take the blame. You have to be able to take the responsibility. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a hard pill to swallow, um, especially coming out of the whole mindset of everybody's equal, everyone's the same, you know, everyone should pull their own weight the same. It, it, yeah. The math don't add up like that at the end of the day. And, it, it, and it's a nature thing. I mean, what was your experience with that? Like, how, how do you know you have trouble with it? With taking responsibility mm -hmm. uh i mean i i will basically look or look for where i could throw like emotional weight at and mm. then basically like blame blame that instead of me so like for example like, mm. like a lot of the shadow work that came up was had to do with uh the death of my mom so like mm -hmm. I blamed a lot on like on that basically mm -hmm. like um oh, oh, like my mom died like boo hoo like all that type of shit and then it got, got to a point where I like I knew that I could like pull pull that card if I needed to and mm -hmm. like get, get a reaction from people and like basically I knew it would like work like nine times mm -hmm. out of ten it would work like it might not but like I I started being able to like uh like gain like attention from it and stuff like that and then mm -hmm. I, validation I, I, yeah. yeah validation yeah mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. like and, and no one's gonna like like no one's talked shit about that basically or like like that type of shit I, I feel like people have but it wasn't like the people that would come to my defense was, was like way more than like mm -hmm. than that so there's nobody but, would, no one no one would tell you a, a dead mom joke <laughs> yeah like not no like, <laughs> <laughs> and like i feel like before before i would definitely like have gotten like real like like pissed off and like hella like i would have definitely basically like through like like if i knew that person like throw some type of like emotional weight on them to like make them feel mm -hmm. like really bad for saying that mm -hmm. type shit. Mm -hmm. But now, now like I don't have that like, um, like I don't have that tether to the yeah. I don't have that need for it anymore. Mm -hmm. And, and it's especially, it's just, I think it's really especially uh, important when when it comes to relationships for males because we have to play a role of somebody who has. And not just play a role, but actually be it to do it effectively. You have to kind of be something that's done enough of the work to guide somebody else through it. 
You know, like with raising yeah. kids, you know, you got to, they don't want it. They probably don't want to pee in the toilet. They want to pee wherever they want to, but you got to, you know, have enough compassion and, and tolerance and understanding in yourself to be able to guide them through something like that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, even with my, with my son right now, like there'll be heaters in the house, the, like the old school ones that like light up, the coil lights up. So mm. if he like would go up to it and touch it, like he wants to, like he, he runs up to it every time we tell him it's hot like don't touch it or we'll grab him <laughs> but he just he'll run right back to it yeah it's until like, like i feel like that time when like like one of us is not, not looking at something and then he goes and touches it and then it burns him mm -hmm. i mean I, I don't want that to happen obviously but yeah, yeah. but it, it's almost and sometimes in life it's a necessity because otherwise, like, let's say you never let him get burned and he never realizes, you know, all that shiny shit may not be it. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, yeah. and like, that's like, you know, people used to let their kids thing, yeah. get the chicken pox kind of thing. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I've heard about mm -hmm. that. And, and the, I guess the reason I, I want to highlight the, the kid part is, is um, like I said before, women are the children of the adult world. And it's not to say women are children. But the dynamic between a man and a woman, especially one that she's, she wants to follow, that she's listening to, that she looks up to, it's going to be that type of a dynamic where she's going to run at the hot thing a bunch of times and don't know that she don't know. And you're, you're going to look like the person who's being controlling. Um, you're, you're being insecure. Like, I understand the world enough to know you don't have to protect me anymore. I get it now. Like, you know, yeah. but it's, it's not that. And, and just like with a kid, you got to have the forethought and understanding of the situation to, to be able to guide it. And it, it, it don't tickle because, because you can't do, you can't do what I'm talking about. If you do it from a perspective where you're not willing to take the blame for what's going on, like, just like with your kid in the yeah. hot, in the little hot thing. If you're not willing to take the blame, you're going to sit there and just blame him. You know, yeah. you also missed what's going on kind of shit. Yeah. I think for me, it, it's coming from like the, like a, the, uh, not, I don't want to say like the opposite dynamic, but it's like to, it, it feels like new to, to wear those shoes. Like I have to like break into them basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like those like, yeah. like basically like hooping when you get like new hoop shoes, like the shoes I have now, I have not broken into them. So whenever mm -hmm. I play my feet fucking hurt. Like they're all you, stiff you, shit. while I'm uh -huh. playing, yeah, like burning and shit like that. And like that's the same feeling I'm having with, with this. It's like mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. kind of like it's it's a new like role for me to play and be. Cause I haven't had that be. example, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, a lot of us haven't had that example. And then when we start to look back and dig into the people who was, who was quote unquote supposed to give us that example, they didn't have it, and the person before them didn't have it for a while. And so it's like you can't even really blame anybody. The most you can do is kind of hop on board and keep moving forward with it, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Well. <sighs> Well, cause so I, I, I sometimes forget that, that you have a kid. Um, are you married yeah. too? No, no, I'm no? not married. No. Okay, okay. So, so, how do you think this would have landed for you? Some of the timeless knowledge tour, like before you had a kid. Before I haven't even, I haven't even I haven't even thought about that. So I'm like, before I had a kid. <laughs> Uh, I ask mostly because I know sometimes um, there'll be there'll be some of the younger guys who are listening and they don't have a kid at all, and they, so they're listening from that perspective. So I'm curious how you think yeah. it would have landed for you. I think that I don't I honestly don't think it would have landed like at, at <laughs> all, really, because like I I didn't go through enough of like the the like I guess it's like trauma and the pain to like understand uh -huh. so I, I honestly don't think it would have no no so that's fair enough because I, I honestly I, I that's what i would have thought as well so i mean yeah. I, I just i just want to see what you thought you know, so i didn't presume it no, uh, but no, I I was, hold on. i'd like to say like oh yeah i, would have it, but right? I don't think so <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh 
I'd love to put my chest out and be like I would too. But yeah, I, I can. I get that. You know, it's it's, yeah. it's difficult to see from the other side. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, talk to me about how much of uh, the timeless novel show you looked at. You know, or 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 how long you've been watching it. Because I'm interested. Okay, I, so I, I, the I, I first, appreciate the watch. Yeah, no, the first time was when you started. When you started it, but I only got to like maybe the second or the third episode. And then this past, like, I want to say, hey, shit, for sure, like six months, maybe eight months, I've been, uh, like, cycling through them. And now it's been hitting way more. Like, the, I watched, like, the first episode again for the first time maybe a few months ago. And I was like, I did not, like, <laughs> this is not the same <laughs> as before, you know, like... <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> I love yeah, it. Was it. Not the same. I love it. <laughs> keep going. I'm listening. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of like, like specific things. Like the stuff that I really, uh, I guess, like inspired me was the part about like me having to like build and contend with myself and all the like beliefs that I've built up and then I feel like the relationships relationships I have now like test like this shit that I think I'm on with like the timeless knowledge, knowledge tour stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, it's one thing yeah. like thinking about it like getting all hyped <laughs> up in my mind but then when it's like time to like actually do that shit in real life it's like oh shoot like how do I go about doing this? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I fucking love that. That's great because it, it is. It's it's, it's one because I, I I was talking to uh, to a, someone else who said they had watched for a while. He he went through and he took notes. You know, he wrote down the the different um points I was making. But I mean, even even just writing it down, it is like it's there's something different from when it's it's right there. It's life. It's time to do it. And you gotta yeah. step into the shoes, you know. It's, yeah. it's a whole different ball game when you when she's in front of you and she making all this noise. She mad about this and 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 you thinking you trying to think logically and, and you're slipping. Oh yeah, it, it's tough. Yeah. And 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 like you said, all the your other different relationships will start to challenge you. You know, they'll start to challenge. Okay, well, where are you standing? What 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 rules are? Who are you? You know, is something different? Yeah. Because that's that's kind of how life got to do it. Hell yeah, it's a I whole love lot that. Of L's. It's yeah, a, I, I took yes. the um, <laughs> the principles of masculinity, like be willing. I think it's be willing to take an L. That's one of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. I, was, I think that I wasn't like I was not willing to take an L for a long time. And I think it was mm -hmm. like the the like the pride that you talk about. Uh, it was definitely yeah. that. Cause it's like. Basically, it was like associated with that was like the feeling of like feeling like less than and like less than worthy and all that. Mm -hmm. And not to say that I shouldn't have been feeling that, but I just the association with that wasn't like I thought it was a bug, not a feature. Basically, uh, like, a lot of uh, things have been from that dynamic. But like understanding that mm -hmm. it's like a feature of it has been like, oh, it's supposed to be like that. Yeah, like, it's like that's part of it type shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, that's, that's, that's perfect because it's 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 not even some huge big thing. It's it's small, it's subtle, but it makes a difference. You know, it doesn't have to be this big blow off your top kind of change. But oh man, fuck, I love that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm happy, man. I'm so fucking happy. I because I mean. I sat there and made the shit, so I'm, I'm happy to to, to hear y'all yeah, yeah. actually do shit with it and then change things. Uh, how's the philosophy been going? Like, how's that working for you? What kind of what kind of like stuff the, did you land on? The guild, the, the guild type of stuff. Or are you talking about just other? Uh, with the timeless knowledge. Oh, okay. So, I, I think that's, I, I wanted to talk to you about basically like when, mm -hmm. if the. Uh, like those principles of masculinity are, uh, is that part of the philosophy that you built um for 
Me personally, um, I didn't start with that. Uh, that's mostly something I've come to so that I can uh, explain some of the fundamentals to kind of help wipe the slate clean so that you can build something on top of it. Um, so you can okay. most certainly start with those. Um, but it was the like, just like you, man, like nobody put me on game. And so I didn't, yeah. I didn't start with the, I had to come around to that, but it, it, I, I made it so that not only could I transmit it, but you could easily build something on top of it. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, you don't have to feel constrained to them. Um, but, but if, as long as you understand why I said them, I mean, you're free to do whatever you like with it, you know? Yeah. I mean, it, to me, the, it seems like, like guideposts type of mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah but sort of kind of like, to help think, you get your bearings mm -hmm. yeah yeah i think uh, the where i'm at in my philosophy is like right now i have to like basically make my or yeah make myself i guess like capable and have uh like abilities and like make myself like i guess able to contend with the world and by that i mean like i want to have like my career like right now really i don't really have like i'm really just like building and starting my career right now and then mm -hmm. so i think that like building myself is the first like thing that i have to do in in any of it because like nothing else like really works if i don't have like because like if if I have my own place, like doing my own thing, I feel like there's a confidence that comes with that that I've like felt mm -hmm. before. But like right now, like I'm sitting at my dad's right now, and just like the environment is not like. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I, I started doing this with a lot, like wrestling with myself, like mid thought, because like <laughs> I hear the like limitations that uh, I'm like placing on myself. Uh, so it's like, I'll just like right? stop, like, ah, like, you know, like. I love it. I love it. Yeah. No, like, dude, that's beautiful. No, I'm listening because I'm listening to you say it. It's like, because I'm thinking to myself, I know, I know motherfuckers ain't got shit, got confidence. Yeah. I know some motherfuckers ain't got shit, <laughs> got confidence in getting women. So I know it's, it's got to be a little something else. But like, like you said, it's the first thing you have to contend with is yourself. And then that's what you were doing there in real time. You know, is that's that's how it looks sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, at first no, it comes out your mouth and you're like, "What the fuck did I just say?" <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no. So no, that's that, that, that's how it goes. You know, it, 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 especially at first, especially at first. But by the time you've done that a few times, it'll be so smooth. And motherfuckers will look at you like, "Oh man, you're so cool with that." Like, how'd you? They don't even know about the L's. Yeah. They, don't, the L's they, 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 they even try to hear about the L's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Oh man. Um and uh what was the other thing I was gonna say? Um Ah, uh, okay, so um we we have the masculine medicine. Um how did some of this start changing th things for you uh when or if you applied it with uh with the woman you're involved with? Yeah, so I think that the way I've applied it is more of like my frame like mm -hmm. this is basically like um like i talked to her today and i was like all right so i gotta like basically kind of like what i explained to you of how i have to focus on my career and stuff like that and then like build myself and it's not only like for uh like me or like for my son like i can say stuff is like for my son but like I really like I think like first and foremost it's for me and then like it has like a trickle down effect to yes. my son so like, like that's why it's for my son too but it's like it's like a yes le like a hierarchy to it yes you, you're like, making yourself your own mental point of origin yes yeah. yes please continue yeah I love it because I felt the like I guess like the opposite of it and it like the the whole dynamic is not like is it's kind of like inverted mm -hmm. so like it'll be like mm -hmm. yeah it, it doesn't flow at all there's like all these like blockages and stuff like that and then mm -hmm. once i start to find just like the frame like the mentality of like 
like just me moving from the mental point of origin, like having that mental point of origin and then living life that way, that had an effect. Yes, yes. That's where, that's where it starts, right there. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. So mm -hmm. I don't think it was, I haven't had any like, uh, I guess like verbal, like ninjutsu battle yet or anything <laughs> like that. Like, but. No carbonatas yet. <laughs> yeah, nah. <laughs> But, but it has like today was like basically like i was just saying that i had to like uh start focusing on like my career and myself but explaining that like trickle down effect mm -hmm. so it's like like my son it, it has effects on him as well mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. i did like say that it's for myself i think because like the whole uh like living like righteously honest because before in like in relationships and stuff like that like i've i've lied and stuff like that and i don't want to like it's too much like yes. of a hassle like i'm not i'm not like that myself anymore <laughs> so it's like i'd rather just like be honest now and just mm -hmm. live live my, my life with the like whatever happens from that because yes yeah like no no because what i'm listening i mean like yeah. what what you say about having to like cultivate a line and stuff like that like that's it gets too mm -hmm. like too much yeah yeah there's <laughs> a whole other mouth to feed man yeah there's <laughs> a whole other mouth to feed i remember oh, in high man. school like my first my first girl like i like basically like i told her that i stopped smoking and i still mm -hmm. smoke and i had to tell i have to tell like my friend, like, like, oh, she don't know, and then his friend, she don't know, and I, I have to make sure like they don't be saying nothing. It's like so like <laughs> it, it just blows up in your face eventually. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, it ain't that right? Shit. Yeah. yeah, you gotta cultivate a lot, man. You gotta keep that shit going. Yeah. Oh, and, I mean, wow, I, I, love it. I don't even think I learned from that lesson. So I, I like took L's. <laughs> more times after that and then i'm like all right like this line is not I, I feel like until i looked at like the like the origin not the i don't like saying origin okay so like one thing i want to actually talk to you about this about um i never heard about rhizomes like as opposed to like oh, rhizomatic plants? thinking yeah and like the thinking rhizomatic thinking as opposed to mm -hmm. like uh branch logic and stuff like that yeah. A different shape of logic. I haven't heard it before, but uh, I can understand what you're saying from the words. I think. Uh, no, yeah. You can, so you basically, can you though? So basically, in like, like rhizomatic thinking, um, like the plants, it's like non-linear, uh, and it follows like uh, basically. What does it say? There's um, there's no like specific origin point to it. So you, mm -hmm. you could like break break it off, like for the plant, you could like break off a piece of the plant and then put it somewhere else and it'll grow its own like thing. So there's no like whole central mm -hmm. point to it. Um, so there's more of like a linchpin, more of a linchpin than like an origin. Hmm, I can see that. I can see that more of a, a linchpin than an origin. Mm -hmm. Lucky for you, I actually have a little bit of knowledge on plants i like plants so that's oh, okay so, so so i mean what is what is uh, what is rhizomatic rhizomatic thinking been doing for you how has it changed things or what were you curious about i guess yeah so um it brought me that because when i said origin so basically that kind of the linchpin of oh. it was around me mm -hmm. like why i would lie is because like to avoid the the conflict and i think deeper than that it was like me like basically like asserting what I really wanted and then like being rejected for that or like the mm -hmm. relationship would have been mm -hmm. uh, like gone from that or something like that. So it's like, yeah, if, it's if I say how fear. I really feel, then like the relationship's not gonna be what I want it to be. So like I'm a, I'm a lie and then I could have both or something like, like that type of mm -hmm. ordeal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you could get away from it, like you get away with it. Like some people, and like like we said, you didn't you didn't learn your lesson from the lie. 
Like some people that, that that happens for a long time. Like they'll be catching L's for a long time, but then they'll cook their own books. So the numbers show up and look like they're not getting L's. But it's like, bro, you, you, you cooking your book. You, you need to count those L's so you can learn. Because <laughs> it's yeah. like, nah. It's, it's, it's so when you when you switch to tr- to making the best effort to be honest and righteous, it, it has to start with you being honest with yourself. You know? Yeah. And, and when you're comfortable with doing that, it, it, I think it gets a little bit easier to do it around other people. You know, where... Yeah, I can definitely them. see that. Yeah. Definitely see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think that's when I, like I'm definitely gonna listen to it, like start listening to it again. But what I'm at is really just like the like fixing my own shit, basically my own like frame and like keeping up on like my mental point of origin and like building from that mm-hmm. as opposed mm-hmm. to like building from anywhere else. Mm-hmm. Well, um, have you have you found anything? that's salient for you that you know you want to add to your own personal philosophy Mm -hmm. i don't know it's not right because you know it starts a piece at a time because you know you start to put those frames those pieces together and you can start to see what it is you have in your hand but no it's a, it's, a, it's an exploration to 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 make it that and that's part of the reason i do some of the principles to help make something in the crazy landscape salient yeah. uh, but you know, whatever you do find something that that rings you know with that honesty um start to build around it you know build on top of it and, and link it to other things that you want to try out or, or hold on to that way yeah. you start to build integrity in that honesty and you won't have to defend it or protect it as much because it'll have its own substance to it if that makes sense yeah it does yeah mm-hmm. so for the for like did you, did you mean like points from the the tour oh uh, no not necessarily oh. they, they could be um points that 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 you've come to personally i mean because please, you're more than welcome to take anything from the tour. I, I don't mind that at all. Um, but I, I, I was uh, leaving it open for maybe you had come to a conclusion or, or, or a different way of saying something that maybe I hadn't said it. Oh, okay. and, you know, because with the philosophy, the, the best way to remember it, I, I would say, is usually in in the the metaphors and the analogies that you can make for an idea. Um, like, like with me, that's why I like the, the happiness, uh, happiness through husbandry, where my husbandry analogies, the farming analogies, mm-hmm. they keep my philosophy making sense for me. And it okay. actually helps me uh, to explicate it to somebody if I were so to want to. Yeah. Um, but but it, it's, it's, it's a collection of different ideas structured together. And once I put them together in the way that I like, this is kind of... Oh, okay. That's what that looks like. All right. So I can keep working it like that kind of thing. I, see, I know. Okay. I remember there was another, uh, someone else I was talking to, uh, really, really was good on the business, the business management side of things. And so that's where his philosophy started to go. Uh, another guy liked the idea of, uh, uh a basketball team coach or captain. Uh, I know. I think it was captain specifically, not the coach. Um, but yeah, we, when you can start to see okay. how you want your your position to roll in the world, that, so that makes sense. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So giving like a, basically like a metaphor for the philosophy to kind of like take shape in. Mm. Yes, that's what it sounds mm-hmm. like to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it can start off, you know, just like with the woman connected dot thing is where you don't can't really tell what it is yet, but you're you're, you're connecting the dots. So you can yeah. start out just like that. It don't have to be big and pretty at the you know right out the gate but as you put it together you can start to see okay this looks like this. oh all right so i can start running it like this like like especially based on things that you you know about or you're familiar with you know yeah so yeah because it, it makes it make sense for you and it helps it's easier to be honest with something that's simple for you yeah no that makes that makes total sense mm-hmm Cause it's rough, man. The whole hey, 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 the world gonna push back. Like, yeah. what you mean you don't want to be my bitch? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For real. 
<laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I basically, I definitely felt it like fucking got pushed and fell, took an L. Ooh, got to, got yeah. to, and, and 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 please learn the lesson. Uh, nephew, no, 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 no name says something about stoicism. Stoicism. Um, I, I, I think a lot of people do the stoicism, um, as an attempt to know, to to dull the um, what's the word I want here? What's the word I want here? Significance. There, there we go. The significance of their emotions in in situations because it's obvious you don't want to let emotions run everything but you stoicism gets real it gets real tough it's a tough line to walk so i mean <laughs> as long as you're not doing it to avoid yourself feel free but there are a lot of people who do it to avoid themselves and, and be more cold or a little stronger against it you know well i only only mention that because i i've heard people talk about stoicism before Well, no, that's, that's, that's what's up. Mm. Had you listened to the, the um, Black Phillips show before you listened to the Timeless Knowledge Call? Uh, I think I listened to it because, it's not the whole thing, but like parts of it because you mentioned it. Because I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure you mentioned it way before you put the tour together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, at least, like, I wouldn't shut up about it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I for sure watched, like, watch it then. But mm -hmm. it for sure didn't like. I think maybe just like the. It for sure didn't like land on the level it did in the past few months. Good, good. Man, I'm so glad. I'm so yeah. glad. I mean, I'm actually. I'm glad you went back and 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 took the time to look at it again, as opposed to being like, "Nah, I already get all that kind of shit." Yeah, I'm. I feel like it's because I went like I've said that before. To the point where it's like, 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 I know that's a lie type of shit. <laughs> like, it's like, I know I'm just like, <laughs> lying to myself. It's, like, it's not Love worth it. the, like, it's not worth the time and energy, like, anymore to, like, keep keep that lie to myself even. So it's just like, might as well just, like, do the I shit, love, basically. I love that. I fucking love that. Yes! How uh, I do have a question about how this relates to, because I know in the tour you talked about like it's not like this isn't even like this could be on like like a like Homo sapien level like it doesn't have anything kind of like it doesn't have to do with like spirituality but like mm -hmm. can it or like is it supposed to fit into it or like the things that we oh. talk about in the guild and stuff like that? I I would say that you could. Uh, it's like I, I really can't tell you that you can't, but this is this is the caveat I would give with that. Um, when, when it comes to things with spirituality, spirituality is dealing with beyond physical life, um, and mo most of the issues with maleness are are only really limited to physical life. And so, I mean, you could mix them together, uh, but you got to make sure you're doing both you got to make sure you're doing the work on both sides it can't just be yeah. kind of a because otherwise you're going to fumble both of them that makes sense yeah yeah you right. don't want a half and half lukewarm it you got to be doing both at the same time if you want to try and run it like that because i mean i that's why i try and lean towards the the idea that there's a distinction because somebody who doesn't i think somebody who doesn't who's not interested in spirituality at all could get the timeless knowledge tour like, you know, that, yeah, that, cause yeah. if you can get it on that level, then feel free to mix it with other stuff. You know, you know, take it all the way to the heavens if you like. I don't mind. Um, but you just got to make sure that you can understand it on that level. As, as long as you can understand it on that level, you can extrapolate. But the, that's the that's the emphasis I want to get. Because sometimes, you know, motherfucker will look and they'll feel confident and be like, well, I, I think I get this, so I should be able to do it here, too. And it's like, you're not wrong, but... <laughs> you don't yeah. want okay. to fuck it up. Yeah, uh, okay, I can see that. Because okay. like, it's the shit is like some of the issues we have in monkeys don't even have the issue. Like we we play so hard against being like Homo sapien is an animal. Like it's okay. We can make make the distinction. I am not the body. Okay, cool. That's the conversation over here. But as far as you know, you are the body. You got the Homo sapien. 
it, it works a certain way. You know, it doesn't yeah. fly. I don't. I don't have a tail. It's not because something's wrong with it. It's, yeah. That's how this one works. Like some shit that's got a tail don't have shit that I have. You know, so it's <sighs> like, oh my god, <laughs> it's so natural. It's so yeah. natural. Thank you. Okay. All be so simple. Like monkeys can figure it out without talking. Yeah. <laughs> monkeys can figure this out without talking, bro. It's like, it can't be that hard. But I mean, no, I'm, I'm being a dick. I'm, be, I'm being a bit facetious because when it comes to doing things like um, <laughs> creating communities, civilizations, um, empires, monkeys don't do that. And and and, when, and the places where it gets more complicated like that, you can't. You have to to understand the, the what that monkey part of yourself is inclined to do so that you can yeah. put things ahead of yourself like you know that monkey part go eat up all them oreos you just don't even buy the oreos right yeah. like it just it, 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 so you you put precautions in line it's like okay if if i know if i leave this little boy with his mama too long he gonna be girly and he and no woman's gonna want him so i gotta make sure i take him out of here even if both of them are crying got to uh, I know this this little girl don't know how to tell what a good man is. All she know is the little feeling she got between her legs. So if I don't hold on to her and make sure she don't marry or go out here and fuck somebody ridiculous, she'll be no good when she gets older. Like your kids, you don't let them eat all the sugar they mm. want because when they get older and they their teeth are a disaster, they're gonna look at you. Yeah, because that's your you know it's just and so it's not and all that shit is nature. Like nature is eating the teeth and shit. Like so it's not it's not a bad thing, but it's. You gotta know. You gotta figure out where to put yourself in there. You know, kind of. It's like that double dutch thing. You gotta figure out where to get in there. But you gotta get in there. You can't just say, uh, "This is how it should be." Like there is a way it is and has been for hundreds, of thousands, millions of years. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. <laughs> exactly. There's something that I, I think you've said, and then it definitely, I definitely agreed. Because before I had a son, and like even. Uh, the relationship I had with my dad, like I wanted, like when I thought about having kids, I'm like, oh, like, I'm gonna be my kids' like best friend, and like we get, mm. and, like have like good times together, all that type of shit. And then like after I actually like had a son, I'm like thought about it, and like thought about the relationship with my dad and stuff. I'm like, I'm not like, I think you put it like you could be friendly, but like that's not your son, and it's like, oh, that's not your friend. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, like I'm not his, fr I'm not getting be his best friend I don't, I don't even i want him to have his own like best friend yes. to have because that relationship yes. that would never even the dynamic wouldn't even work like that because like you said when he yes. gets older like it's i have a responsibility towards him and that has nothing to do with like friendship type yeah. shit you know like <laughs> yes yeah no. so i totally agree oh, like, on point. When, when people are like oh like i'm gonna be my like my son or daughter's like, like best friend i think that like they i think they're living in like their own like they want to be friends with their parents so like have like a friendly dynamic mm -hmm. with their parents so they're like creating that for yeah for like their <laughs> yep. kids yeah and putting all their bullshit in their kids life and now their kid don't have their own life and people act like kids can't realize that's what's going on and kids love you so much they'll let you do it to them <laughs> yeah but, uh, yeah you gotta you gotta know how you gotta know your own shit so it don't get in the way of, of other people's and especially the people you care about Hell, yeah oh yeah oh man fuck yeah i love this dude <laughs> i love this no yeah i appreciate you taking the time to like talk about it too no yeah, man I, I, I love talking about it i'm just glad i'm glad you took the time to look to chew on it and, and apply some shit you know, because cause most motherfuckers won't even look, or if they look, you know, they just laugh and don't think about it until it's way too late to do, to do anything or think about anything. You know, yeah. No, I seen oh, some like, there. I seen some yeah, crazy, hey, crazy like, <laughs> like some stories some of basically, mm -hmm. like basically mm -hmm. the stories of like men like after like the divorce or just like, like basically at. This is maybe like a year ago. I was listening mm -hmm. to some guy at the LA Fitness in the sauna. He was just telling out how he's been like, he basically lost everything. He lost everything. Uh, like, I don't think he barely gets time with the kids and mm -hmm. a whole bunch of other shit. 
I'm just like, and like, and before I think before I, I didn't like relate to it, but I think like looking back at that instance, I felt like oh, oh like I that could have been me type of stuff. Like, yep. That could happen to me. Before Ooh. I didn't Ooh. think like that could happen to me, but like after yeah. it, I guess like experiencing this stuff, it's like oh like that that's a reality. <laughs> you know, it's not just like it's not just something happening like other people are like not it could have happened to me type what? shit like, like that shit's got my name on it god damn <laughs> yeah I'm like oh shit <laughs> yeah. I love that no and, man and and sometimes you know it takes necessity to learn some shit so now I get that man oh that's beautiful <laughs> yeah and the first I, I remember like the first this has had to be like 2020 Mm -hmm. I think like the first time I ever basically like heard you talk or speak and all that and at the when you said like the physical or like what you say it's like illusion doesn't mean it's not real it means that it, it's not what it seems to be and at that time like my spirituality and magic like I was in that like nihilistic narcissism so I just thought like like <laughs> When I heard that shit, I, at first I didn't, like, basically, if I accepted it, it, it would have shattered my whole <laughs> conceptual reality. So obviously I was like, fuck that. <laughs> but like, like, basically now it's like, damn, like, I, was re I wasn't really, like, doing anything. And, like, I, like it was like, basically, like, I went like part of me feels like I wasted I was wasting my life with that, that mentality of like mm. thinking that like oh it's like it's an illusion it's not really real and then like if it's not real then oh, like fuck it type shit you know like <laughs> <laughs> and then now it's like oh nah it's real it's just not what it seems to be and it's like oh fuck okay like mm -hmm. like what I mm. like, like what I do like matters to an extent yeah yeah, because uh, you know, a lot of times when people get into that one, um, usually they're trying to they're trying to be able to do whatever they want to do, kind of yeah. thing, you know, and not have to think about repercussions, you know. It's in, and it makes you know when you say things like you know it, it it's all an illusion and nothing really matters. It's it kind of justifies anything you want to do or want to say, you exactly, know. Yeah, and it's easy. That's that's really a good way to say it. it's easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and, and I, I remember I used to do that a long time ago. And oh, God, it's just disgusting. Yeah. Because you don't realize you don't know. And, and that's and just, like, like with the, just like with the whole the masculine shit. You don't realize you don't know. You look and you think, that can't be me. I'm this. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> uh, uh, see, it's, there's plenty of reality to the physical world. Uh, it, it's the details, man. Just the small, subtle things. So, oh, I'm so wonderful. Oh, um, well, did did you want to talk about any of the guilt stuff? I, I'm down. I remember you were you were yeah yeah because I remember you were been listening to some of the audios. So I mean yeah um. What's been your experience so far? So I've been doing the ancestor ritual and I think mm -hmm. listening to the recordings, like basically a lot of just by listening to it, a lot of the questions or like things I would have had were already answered just by like listening to the dialogue with like everyone else. Um, mm -hmm. Cause you get to hear all the other uh, people who are in the class at the same time, right? Yeah, yeah. This month, this month, I'm gonna for sure be more uh, like I, I had classes at the at those times, and then since it's like the the uh, hours are like three hours behind or whatever, so it's just like. Mm -hmm. But now that I don't have class no more, I for sure be able to like join the the sessions. And, yeah. it's just, and I set it up that way because you know y'all are grown folks and y'all got shit to do. Yeah. And so I'm glad that even though you got stuff to do, you're able to to jump on the recordings and still and still eat some. So that's wonderful. 
No, yeah, most definitely. It was, and just like having the recordings, going, being able to like go back and forth and stuff like that, is is really helpful. Um, I f- think what I messaged you about. Let me double check what I said, because it was about the um, having like a Mars imagination is like a Mars way that imagination is limiting um i think the in in the guild it was the new gene vegetable was talking about how oh, you asked him about the closed circle like why he closes the circle and then mm-hmm. he said like about stuff not not having to happen when he's not there or like without his awareness or something like that and i definitely mm-hmm. do that too and that's when i was like oh shit like i basically it's it's like i only want what i visualized to like mm-hmm. happen maybe to like a certain like like some things may, may not happen but like the end result should be the same so it's like i have my mm-hmm. own expectations of whatever was ha- happening and like i think the whole point of the ritual was to like give all that over basically so not having yeah. to worry about any of it at all um mm-hmm. And you'd be so, surprised with those places where it subtly sneaks in. But yeah. yeah, because for the most part, everybody, you know, they got that in the intention of it. Uh, but you're, like I said, you'll find this small little piece, this small little piece. And that's why you kind of have to do it a couple times, you know, yeah. get a feel for it. Mm-hmm. I, so I did it. I've been doing it. And then I did it on different from different uh, paths. So like from each of the paths. Because mm-hmm. the for basically in the recordings when you basically i think i was on that session i asked about uh, um like kind of like toggling between uh like path of the father mother child because before mm-hmm. i had the conception of it being like if i'm left hand path like i think other people in the go talked about this too like the path of the child is like being weak and like mm-hmm. uh, like i still kind of feel a little bit of that but I've, I think that's just my trauma from religion. That's that's there. Mm-hmm. I don't think I know it is. Ooh, but, that's, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Real time. But, Love it. But I did, <laughs> did. I did use. So then I started doing things that I did when I was Muslim, again, um, and I did one of the visualizations of me giving like my physical life to the ancestors, where I found a lot of where the like me agreeing to my physical conception had a lot mm-hmm. to do with my son. So like, because mm-hmm. like with other stuff, mm-hmm. it's like, all right, like that's mm-hmm. cool. You know, like, <laughs> <I don't laughs> like, other yep. stuff is like, all right, like that's fine, whatever. But then it's like, if it's my son, I'm like, all right, hold up. Like, <laughs> like, so, I know like, it, boy. I'm telling you. Yeah. So like, it was. So the visualization I did was like when, uh, like when Muslims die, they do like a special type of prayer. So, mm-hmm. so at the mosque, and in that prayer, there's no like bowing or anything. It's just like standing up. So mm. I did, did like a visualization of that, and then I had, had the nice. first time I did it was from the path of the father. So I had my non-physical. I was like there watching at my non-physical self. And then mm-hmm. after I'm like, oh, there's my body. And like, or there's like, yeah, there's my body, like whatever, like that's cool. And then uh, it was like in the future and I had my son or like the, whatever I like thought my son to look like came mm-hmm. up to speak. And then when he was speaking and stuff, I started identifying with what he was talking about. And then I realized that like <laughs> I already snuck in there, you know, like, gotcha. I, already, you know, like I already switched perspectives, like without even realizing it. And then like that's where like it like that's basically where uh I was like told like that's where the well I need to work on basically. That's like the most mm-hmm. the most has to do with that. Cause like I yeah. identified with it like so readily. So mm-hmm. you know, so smooth so naturally yeah because like a lot of the people who 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 start out saying stuff about the left-hand path uh and usually only have to talk about it it's easy to say 
you don't care about anything when you don't have something that's depending on you you don't have someone depending yeah, on you then when you do it changes your perspective on things and so that 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 comes when you really start to challenge okay what do i really believe and why you know and yeah. it's not to say what what is or isn't weak because there's weakness there's weakness and strength you know it, they define one another it's not about not yeah. being weak it, it's it's more so about i would say being accurate being honest being effective you know it can, those details will hurt cuz look you can throw 99.999% of the world into the sun tomorrow fuck them but hold on not yeah. that little one hold on let me get that little <laughs> one real quick real quick exactly <laughs> right? that's exactly how it works. I was like, oh shit <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's, 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 when it comes to the rest, it's easy to say that, but the only place it really matters is if you said it there, yeah. and that's that's where it's like, ooh, and it's tough, you know. And that's yeah. a, so it's not what you're experiencing is completely natural. Um, these are the kinds of conundrums you need to be challenging and, and bumping up against you know to see where you actually stand so so it, it's perfect and it's going to feel awful weird and embarrassing yeah. and ridiculous that's, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly how it feels oh good you know, i remember I, I don't know if i've shared this one with you before but i remember i had this one um i had this one meditation where i was i was chilling in uh in a in the forest around the campfire with one of my deities and uh, i was like okay i'm about to get up out of here man this shit is boring and as I walked away, you know, about to close it out or whatever, he was like, you still scared. And I was pissed, like immediately pissed. Yeah. I was immediately pissed and I turned around so hard, like the whole atmosphere turned with me. And I'm like, what? And he's just laughing because like, clearly you're very, clearly you're scared of something. Yeah. And I was like, damn, damn, he got me. All yeah. right, cool. Let's go. <laughs> we got more to do. You're right. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, there's one other thing. I'm sorry. Uh, I might have told you this one. I, I'm pretty sure I might have told you this one. Did I tell you about the um the Native American story about uh coyote and um and uh kind of roasting each other? Uh, I don't think so. No, if you go into it, it's cool. I uh, there used to be is like a, it's a Native American technique. They, uh, it, well, they actually said the shamans would do, um, but they um, in their visualization or meditation or however you like to phrase it, um, in their non-physical experience, they they're at the edge of a cliff with coyote, um, and and then the point of the exercise is you're supposed to roast each other, and I'm talking about hard, and whoever whoever feels some kind of way first, you off the cliff, you lose. You gotta get in there and give them the dozens. I'm yeah. talking about get it and and take everything that come and be like to see because you the point is to see okay where am I still kind of kind of hiding about yeah. this even if I don't realize there's a chink in my armor so you can kind of see it because it, it it be those small subtle things man. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> so, like, I love it, it. So like because he just started like I had he it was like maybe. <laughs> He, he was maybe like 40 or something like 30 to 40 years old or something like that and then nah definitely that's i'm not trying to be see exactly even there whatever his age don't matter but basically when he was talking he was like talking about <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about like his experience of having me as a father and stuff like that and then mm. it was it was like when he was talking about that i just started crying but i it was like I was identified with the crime. It was like from that perspective, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. like that's where, that's where I was showed like, oh, you still, <laughs> you yep. still not anywhere where you think, basically. And it's natural to have that. Like you ever played a video game and you you felt empathy. Or, or like a connection with the character, or like maybe like with Pokemon. I know you have if you ever had a Pokemon team, like you felt you felt for your Pokemon. You know, like yeah. this is my this is my team. You know, yeah. and so I mean, it's it's quite natural to have those feelings about something that has an illusionary nature. You know, it's not a bad thing, or it's not to say what you shouldn't do. You know, it's kind of to give you a, a closer look at what illusion is like. It's not about it being not real. 
You know, it's yeah. it's real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fucking real. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I love that. How old is your son? Uh a year and five months four months. Oh wow. Okay. No, I didn't realize it was that it didn't actually that recent. Ooh. No, yeah. Okay. He's born in November of twenty twenty two. Yeah, he gonna be growing nice and fast. Ah, yeah. ah, ah. <laughs> I'm glad somebody out here too and taking care of them kids. Cause God damn it, man, that's <laughs> no. work. Yes, yeah. no, it's, it's work. Where's my, my fucking? Oh, I know where it is. Oh, piece of shit. It's out here. Let me get it real quick. Oh no. Did it freeze? Oh no, it didn't freeze. You're looking at something. Uh, yeah, no, I was just okay. thinking about basically <laughs> you, how the like how having a son like changed everything. Like what you said basically about the left hand path. Like I didn't really have anything that I like cared about like that <laughs> until, until, mm -hmm. until my son. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Go. So. Ooh. And that's the way it is. And and see, but like from where you are now, looking back, you can say, "Hey, I didn't really have anything I cared about," and that means something. But if you'd have told that to you to to the you you were back then, you say, "Hey, man, you don't have anything you care about." And he's like, "What? That's cool. That's that's how it's supposed to be," kind of thing. Yeah. And it's yeah. it's a different perspective. Mm hmm. And the thing I love about it that I think is the most beautiful part is that. The truth of the matter isn't something that had to hide itself. It's just something you couldn't see at that point. Yeah. It's always yeah. It's there kind of shit. Like, that's the, that's the kind of shit I love. It's like, damn, this was in my face. The whole time, yeah. <laughs> oh, right? <laughs> oh, God, I love it. I'm sorry. I may sound like I'm being a dick, but I do genuinely love that shit. Nah, you're good. You're good. Oh, my. Oh, man. <laughs> Um, well, in, in terms of the, um, the guild, um, what do you, what do you think you're picking up that you may or may not have picked up somewhere else in, in what you're learning here? Uh, I think the first part of the question you kind of cut out on my end. I didn't. Oh, sorry. It's not a problem. Uh, in terms of the guild, um, what do you think? You're you're picking up that you may or may not have picked up somewhere else. I think it's the the, the details and like the nuances of kind of like the uh, the story I just told you. I don't think I would have had the like awareness to like pick up pick that up like me identifying that quickly, or like mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. even ha like I, I wouldn't have been able to be in the space to do that ritual. Cause I was still like caught up in like the like thinking that half of the child is like like, like I don't I don't fuck with that type shit basically like mm -hmm. but like mm -hmm. it's like that's that's like down there and like I'm on the path of the father now it's like <laughs> put your nose up that, you know? it's like, <laughs> yeah like <laughs> but, so like I don't think I would I wouldn't have been able to like be in the space to even do that ritual to that extent. Um, mm -hmm. and then also like working on the, um, like the narrative aspect of it, mm. like putting together, mm -hmm. I've been, I think I've been making more progress with that than the other times. How so? Like, what do you mean? Um, basically just like with the whole context. Okay. So now I've, have you, have you, have you like watch boruto at all i know you boruto? probably don't fuck boruto boruto like naruto oh son. boruto I, yeah i watched some of it i i, I watched i had to watch some i had to you know but yeah it, i haven't i haven't been keeping up um i know the last thing i remember um it's not the furthest I, i've watched it's just I, when i knew i had to stop watching was that jail arc where they broke Yeah, it's probably relatively early, but no, no, continue because I, I I am familiar with some of the um the the lore of Baruto. Okay, so the basically, well, I 
took from that was his like his karma seal. Um, like, do you mm-hmm. know about that? Like, basically, how he killed the Osasuki, and then the Osasuki was able to like implant his consciousness into him. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but, but he could uh, reawaken eventually, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he bit, like how it works is like he takes over Boruto. So eventually, it's like it's all that being and like no Boruto at all. Mm-hmm. So he's basically like it's basically kind of like how Naruto was a uh, was a vessel for the Nine Tails. Like Boruto was a vessel for like a you know, Tsutsuki god Tsutsuki. thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And so I th- that, that's kind of like the what I took. I took that idea of it out. So I have a like a karma seal on a Mar, or like Mars Ooh. Mars's karma seal on a Mar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, exactly. And what I love about that is it, it links the two now. Now you have a link for why these motherfuckers are even interacting at all. And so you can kind of yeah. keep the stories together. Oh, I love that. Fucking yeah. love that. That's a and then like example. how, like the, it's like, cause it's like all vessels aren't compatible for the seals either. Cause like some, like one of the Osasukis, like 10 of their vessels like died before they found a compatible one. So like, mm-hmm. I feel like, I feel like that, that part of it more comes to like, I guess, I guess like a piece of more though. Like if I was to add that aspect of it, would be more. Why? Why do you say like, so? Because it, it feels like more, I guess, like comfortable for that to be the narrative. Uh, um, well, maybe if 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 you take if, if Amar takes it as a point of pride to where like he's. He's different from other people in a sense. I could, I get is that, is that sort of like what you mean? Yeah, and I, but I I don't think I also don't think that's that would be like a necessary like like harm, bad thing because even in mm-hmm. in the lore, one of the other Otsusuki vessels like he wants to be he he want like so. It could either be through two two people, and he it wants he wants to be the vessel for the Osusuki and not the other person. So like he he mm. takes it as like a point of pride to be the vessel for the Osusuki, mm. as yeah. opposed to someone else. Like he wants to be the one to carry out that Osusuki's will, as opposed to like mm-hmm. some other vessel. Mm-hmm. And see, with the, with the Baruto show, you can see the two extremes of that position. So I, yeah, I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. And then also the oh my no, god, go ahead, go ahead. I'm listening. Um, I mean, do you mo- like? Go ahead, I'm you, listening. Are you gonna watch it? Are you, are you gonna watch it? Like, if I tell you, stuff no, you can spoil it. it. Oh, you can okay. spoil it, please, please. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> basically, like, um, Boruto and one of the other uh, Naruto's adopted son. So he has Boruto's his son, and then he adopts. The, the other guy is the Sasuke kid. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's like, <laughs> so he adopts him, and then uh, him and Boruto made a deal that if Momoshiki is the name of the Osusuki that takes over Boruto, so if he was to take mm-hmm. over Boruto again, then when he becomes Boruto, then Koyaki's gonna kill him to like prevent prevent mm. Momoshiki from taking over at all. Because basically, Momoshiki's mm-hmm. gonna like kill Naruto and like all that stuff. So basically, he almost does. So Boruto almost does kill Naruto, or not Boruto, Momoshiki, and he's telling him mm-hmm. like, "Oh, this is." He's laughing. He's like, "Oh, this is fun. Like, I'm gonna use your son to kill you." Type shit. <laughs> like, I'm like, "God damn!" Like, right? Crazy, yeah. <laughs> and then basically, he ends up like not killing Naruto and comes back to Boruto, and then Koyaki kills him. So like, like right in front of Naruto. So it's in front of Naruto, oh. like Boruto dies, and then it'll be like Naruto just goes like completely like weak, like he doesn't basically like after Boruto dies, like there's a fight going on, and like Shikamaru's like, like there's a fight going on, like we gotta fight him, and Naruto's like just completely uh, 
just like defeated defeated yeah and he's okay. just like holding both so yeah and then and mm. um basically Basically, what happened, Boruto gets revived because the Osasuki, like, gave him the rest of his, like, karma or whatever. So, Wait, did the Osasuki sacrifice itself for Boruto? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, not again. Basically, oh. yeah. Fuck! Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> what... God damn it. Dude, and, see, like, that reminds not... me of, that reminds me of the, the last of Boruto that I watched and why I stopped because they killed Kurama. Oh, yeah. Take Naruto. Yeah, exactly. How do you kill yeah. a tail Naruto. beast? Yeah. Oh. God, I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry. No, yeah. I I'm sorry. Know. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, oh, damn it. No, I'm, so this, I'm glad you same, swallowed it. I would have hated to watch yeah. to that. God. It's the same shit. I mean, like, Bowen told him it hurt. Like, Boruto's like telling like, oh, like I won now, like blah blah blah. And then the Osusuki's like, it's not that easy. Like, he's like, it's not like that. And like, you still have your own like, I don't know. He said like, you still have like a bunch of shit that you can, you might not make it through or whatever. Mm -hmm. And like, what ends up happening? Like, was it about his eye or something? Yeah, like is that what he was talking about? But okay, it's either like his eye, and then there's like some talk about it's like the other another character's eye that's also blue because they both have like blue eyes mm -hmm. um, but basically what ends up happening is that there's a, a like one of the otsusuki gods he transcended the physical dimension because he like he ate up so many planets and chakra fruits as he was able mm. to let go of his body and so, so delicious yeah so <laughs> someone someone used his physical body's remains to make these mm -hmm. like cyborg cyborg creatures that mm -hmm. had otsusuki powers and they can only be killed by otsusuki mm -hmm. and so, uh. so one of the only like one of their powers is that she can make anyone like fall in love with her because oh so the otsusuki power was that your greatest de desire becomes reality and then that Mm. That person's greatest desire was to be loved. So basically, anyone that wasn't an Osasuki, mm. like, fell in love with her. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And then, Koyaki, Koyaki ends up meeting her, and his greatest desire was to have him and Boruto switch live. Mm. So he wanted to, like, have a family and have mm. a son and all that, or be mm -hmm. a son and all that. <laughs> he wanted Boruto Orphan. to be the outside. He wanted Boruto to be the orphan, basically. <laughs> so, um, they basically what ends up happening is that Koyaki and Boruto switch, and Koyaki, um, before they sorry, before they switched, Koyaki basically traps Naruto and Hinata in like a prison dimension, and he goes to hmm. kill. He wants to kill Boruto, so he tells like Naruto, like, "Yo, I'm gonna go kill Boruto." Because, like, mm -hmm. it's what has to be done. Otherwise, like, the whole world is gonna die. And Naruto's like, you're fucking crazy. Like, you're not gonna kill my son. <laughs> so, and then that's when Kuraki traps him in a, uh, another dimension. And then he, mm -hmm. he tells people that Boruto killed Naruto. And then he meets, <laughs> that, he meets that other girl that is able to have his um, desire manifested. So basically, everyone mm. in, the, in the Naruto verse... To them, Koyaki is Naruto's son, and Boruto is an outsider. So, like, yes, he completely like <laughs> rewrote reality. I love yeah. that. <laughs> so, okay, like, so that's how Boruto is supposed to become a villain. Okay, I yeah. get that. So, All like, right, <laughs> he's not the real villain, but everyone thinks he's the villain. And like, what? Okay. And then, and then, basically, what happens is that Sasuke is about to basically just like kill him mm -hmm. because. But Sasuke's daughter, Sadara, like for some apparent Sayo. reason, for some apparent reason, like it doesn't affect her. So the it's supposed to affect her, the the rewritten reality. But for some reason, mm. like, she's immune to it. So she's like trying to convince Sasuke, and then she awakens her in Gekyo Sharingan by like trying to convince him that mm. 
that's not what it is. And because like he's like, oh shit, she awakened her Mangeki on. To him, mm -hmm. Boruto is still the villain, but he just like trusts her. So then he starts to like train Boruto. And then that's like, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So I don't really know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can dig it. I can dig it. I, I don't like Sarada. I'm so disappointed in her existence. I thought I didn't like Sasuke. I do not like Sarada. <laughs> Sarada like, how are you in a Chiha with glasses? That's so disrespectful. That I feel like a failure if I was in a Chiha who had a child that needed glasses. <laughs> Uh, I'm a dick. I'm sorry. Oh, that just bothers me. Mm. Yeah. I may, I may, I may jump into the manga one of these days. <laughs> but I, 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 I love how I love how you you've adapted that. Um, and, and oh god, because once you as you lean into adapting that, you'll see more from the rest of the show. Oh god, I love that. That's beautiful. That's 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 how you want to do it. As most people, a lot of people are, are afraid to allow things from physical life into anything else. But it's like, well, you don't really know anything else, so kind of lean yeah. into it, roll with it. I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't know how to like bridge. The two. That's why I was stuck of like bridging, I guess, like Amar and Mars, like how they mm -hmm. fit together. And then in the in the recordings, um, I think it was Rock. You were talking to Rocky, and I think mm -hmm. her, she's also Leah. I think, I'm mm -hmm. not too sure. Yeah. So when you were saying like, um, basically, is Rocky part of Aaliyah or is Aaliyah part of Rocky? And then like the the assumption that's made from those premises. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. so when I was just like, I was like, okay, I know or like I want to say, and I know that Omar is part of Mars, but I don't know how to like fit it or like tweak it to make that but then you gave mm -hmm. the example in the recording of like it could basically be some type of like some type of shit happened where like when he fell he dreamed or like assumed himself to be Amar or whatever and then I was mm -hmm. watching like I was watching like Boruto at that same time so it kind of like the yep. karma seal thing was like yep. oh shit I could <laughs> definitely use that like yeah <laughs> right on time right on time yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Fucking A. God, I love that. Man, see? Fuck yes. Mm. And it's it's once you can get it, 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 it makes sense and, it, and it's not it's not that difficult to do, but it's 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 subtle and it it really makes a big difference. Being able to yeah. catch where the two of them come together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh god. I love that. I love that you were able to pick that up just from the recording. Like even if if you weren't in the session, you were still able to grab that. That's 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 what I I really love. That's how I, I yeah I really hope people were able to digest it. No, I have been like listening to your recordings, like how like from boot camp and even like YouTube videos. I do listen to them, like I would say, like religiously, at least for the past like years. <laughs> like trying to like understand like these concepts, but sometimes it's not even just like a. Like, I'll listen to it in the car, and I might zone out and stuff, but it's just, like, having having that there, like, even, like, the sound of it keeps mm -hmm. my mind of thinking, like, in a certain, like, mm. in a certain, like, lines, I guess. No, 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 I get that. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that at all. Um, mm. Mm. Well, I, 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 uh, I, I deeply look forward to when you get into the sessions and you can ask some questions because your questions are usually very on point um and and especially if you get if you listen a lot like as soon as you get the 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 few little tweaks from the questions it'll just yeah. it'll just flow I, that's why I, I love being able to have people speak and and ask the things that 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 are a little unclear because once you yeah. get those details, man, it, it's so much easier. So much. No, I think easier. having a community and like a social aspect to this is like, I think that's what really helped too. Because this mm -hmm. type of stuff, I don't really like, at least people that I, I see daily, I don't talk to them about like a cult 
stuff, you know, like or anything, <laughs> you know, like it's just like, or if I do, they just like, if I did, were to say something, it's just like, oh, like it, it's it's not building upon anything. It's just like, oh, that's interesting, and then like yeah. they talk uh -huh. about whatever, like. Sometimes, like, they got high and thought about something. I'm like, I'm not talking about something I'm just thinking about. <laughs> like, you know, like, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> like, like, I'll be saying something and then like, oh, yeah, like, I had a wild trip. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, ah, oh, like. Oh, God. God, I love that. <laughs> uh, see, and then, then, because that's why that's why I do I do love having it all, all together because you can see how other people have the same issues, you know. Because it's hard to see that when you know almost nobody who talks about this, but then yeah. when you actually hear other people who talk about it and who are learning it like you, you're like, oh shit, I was thinking about that. Yeah. So you, you can actually exactly. talk to them, you know, and see. Is because I remember um, there were two people. Um, not work because they're still in the in the thing. Um, who who have been listening to some of Trav's um some Kaya stuff? Um, oh yeah, I've and, been and he even that. had a I'm discussion. Some Kaya too. So I, yeah, I was kind of like upset that I wasn't able to like make it to that one. I was like, damn, because I've been doing Tyler <laughs> well, shooting. I do Tyler shooting yeah. like every day. I mean, that's like one of my daily mm. meditations. So it's like. When I heard that, I was like, "Oh, Tyler, she's like, oh, okay. I think it was Timon. <laughs> Timon, that's yeah. It's Timon yeah. and um, Timon and uh, Ethereal Progeny. Okay. Um, yeah, we we had a nice little. And it was one of those. Uh, I'm not even one of those office hours because I don't record the office hours. Um, but yeah, we, we had a nice conversation about um, some Kai. Some I said it wrong. Some Kaya. Yeah, some people say they like some Kia, some Kaya, some Kia. Um, Okay. Okay. No, I, can, I can. I can. I can dig that. Um, but yeah, we were talking about some of the the fundamentals in in some Kia. Um, we were talking, and I'm not going to do the Sanskrit words. <laughs> no. But uh, they were talking about like the the Shiv Shakti um, union that gives rise to creation, and then even the the contemplation about the idea of the unknowable um, being something recognized, and, and how that how that matched up with the Bookman model. And, uh, and and we can explain the same different things, and so yeah, it's it's wonderful seeing different people yeah. who have different ideas about it, and and being able to to bring some consensus. Because I mean, if somebody wants to talk about some Kia, you know, I can I have limited amounts that I can talk to you about it on. But you know, if y'all got each other, hey, we're all learning. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> one of the I, I it's not only limited to what those be like. Because those books come from the Bihar School of Yoga, a lot of them. Not like all the Samkhya mm -hmm. books, but Taught with mm -hmm. Shudi comes from Bihar School of Yoga. And one of the, I guess, critiques I have about a lot of like Eastern or Indian like yogis or thinkers, when they make these books for like Western thinkers, and they always like frame it in material, materialistic or materialism words. And so mm -hmm. they're like, they don't know i don't think they know that they're doing it i think that like their intention is to like like use the language that like western people can understand mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. i don't think that they like they they bring the like confusion and the basically in their books they'll reduce it down to materialistic or materialism as well or, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna example, try because i haven't read any of the books um, like, like basically, when they talk about in Sanskrit, the word is like a bindu, but when, when they translate it, they'll say, uh, like the nucleus and they'll talk about atoms. Mm. And then they won't, they don't under, they don't understand the whole thing about atoms, you know? So it's like, mm -hmm. they'll frame it in like atoms and, oh, they'll talk about like quantum mechanics too and stuff like that. And I think that it takes away from the actual philosophy of it. Because yeah. It, it, yeah, it, it, like, it's br it brings something that's not meant to be there, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you'd have to... I mean, I don't even think that would be difficult to articulate. But, I mean, I'd be curious to, to think about the large wall of money. <laughs> 
that with it uh wouldn't be interested in that point of view you know, yeah. <laughs> you know how much how much how those uh side grooves uh events will sell out you know you know yeah. it's <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I get that. I hear you. Because there was somebody else who was... And I don't know the guy's name because it was, it was Sanskrit and I'm a, I'm a piece of shit. Uh, but he was talking about um, non-dualism and some of the different schools of thought uh, that came out, out of India. Uh, I, I did think that was interesting, though. But I mean, because th- th- there are a lot of different schools of thought. You yeah. know, people don't necessarily know the different distinctions. They just, you know, like, there's Ganesha and that's it. Like, it's, there's different ideas about what all these things mean. Yeah. So, hmm. 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 I mean, I didn't even well, know thought about, like, messing messing with about messing no, go ahead. with the, about messing with what? Uh, well, well, your ideas in terms of, of, how people have been translating the Eastern into a Western mind frame and then sort of losing some of the, the subtleties and nuance. I haven't really, I mean, have I been, I've been thinking about that in terms of like how it pertains to like, like, like when I'm reading the books and stuff like that, I'll like self-correct. So like, mm-hmm. but I haven't talked about it. Mm-hmm. Maybe you could, maybe you could for yourself, uh, begin to lay down a few solid points and then maybe build some arguments around it and start yeah. to come up with, with your own point of like because you have your own perspective but to have your own point of view would be to have some some um, structure to it okay yeah you know that way that way you because once you have some structure in your hand then you can figure out how to present it because that's a whole other beast <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Well, no, it, it, I think it, I think it'd be interesting to to hear to to see to, to chew on, you know. Yeah, because yeah, not I, I, I always like, uh, I knew that, that, but I didn't have like the words to articulate it. And then there was a professor that does, what school? He, I think he's like goes like Rutgers. I think he's a professor at Rutgers and mm-hmm. he's in like Sanskrit studies, blah, 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 blah like all these yeah. like academic achievements in Sanskrit and stuff like that. But then he'll like, he, he practices like bhakti yoga too. And he like, he moved mm-hmm. to India, like all that type of stuff. Yeah. And then that was one of his uh, like critiques that mm-hmm. he saw that as well. Basically like that, so he basically talked about how in yoga there's no neurological correlate to consciousness so like it's impossible to have a neurological correlate to consciousness and then the way that mm-hmm. yoga is presented is having a neurological correlate to exactly so like that was his whole thing was that like it, it cannot be that way at all so he was like mm-hmm. he was like yoga any type of yoga or spirituality from like india their position is that there's no neurologic correlate to consciousness and that mm-hmm. science yeah. like as as long as like science is looking at it from that point of view like they'll never be able to find it exactly yeah you see look you just articulated it no. <laughs> <laughs> but like to me that's so- like that may that's just like a uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. look, they, like that could be your, your your first salient piece of it, and and what you want to do is is grab grab the evidence for what you're saying, and then and find different ways to explain the evidence. Because it's, it's one thing to to put the evidence in someone's face; it's another thing to to, to be able to explain to them what they, what it is they're looking at and why that why this is evidence. So I mean, it's yeah. one thing to say, okay, there's no there's no correlation. There's no causal relation between neurons and, and, and consciousness. Okay, you can say that, but it just sounds like an opinion unless you have the evidence. And there's plenty of evidence. Yeah. So, so if, if, if you become familiar with the evidence and the point you're making, um, it puts you in the realm of, of, of somebody who knows what they're talking about and can, can show that. That makes sense. Mm-hmm.
and it's something you actually like or give a fuck about. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's why I want, like, one of the other lives that you had, I think I told you this in the DM, but how uh, the guy that you were having a live with, he was talking about wanting to do, like, a podcast and stuff like that, but, like, he wanted to find someone to do it with. Mm-hmm. And you were like, I got... I mean, you have like 50, more than like 50 episodes and like, you don't have a co-host or anything like that. And then, it's just, then I'm like, so it's like, I don't really have like, I'll think about the excuse, but then like, if I articulate it, I know it sounds dumb because like, I have some ample evidence of people doing shit without like having to have a co-host or like having mm-hmm. to like do like the excuses that I'm saying are not really excuses. Yeah, I, I I think some people will will lean on the idea of a co-host because either they're not sure what they're going to talk about or they're afraid to end up in a place where they don't know what to talk about. Um, there are reasonable concerns to have. Um, that's why I like to keep a lot of things in my pocket to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> And that's part of what I'm saying is like is the more familiar you are with the point you want to make and the evidence you have to support it, the more you'll have to say about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm so yeah. It, 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 it'll be like butter. It'll be so smooth. I'm telling you, the, 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 if, if you you have the point, you have the idea. If you you get a little bit of evidence about um, neurons and 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 the research around it, um, cognitive science usually you know, muddles around in there and they have different things. So, I mean, finding the different pieces of evidence and putting it together in a story so that someone can understand it. Yeah. Butter. No, yeah, there is. I mean, I, yeah, I, 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 I could feel like I could do that pretty fast because I already have built up, like, the evidence for myself to, like, to convince myself of it, too. You mm-hmm. know, it's just like, yeah, yeah. Now it's a matter of, of collecting it, because because <clears throat> being able to convince yourself, like sometimes I, I'll think of things that convince me, and I'll try and go back and find them, and I can't. And so I have to, I'll have to find a new way to say it or a new piece of evidence. And then you have to question whether or not I I actually saw what I saw, you know. But so you want to double check uh, whether or not your citation still are relevant that that's mm-hmm. part of the, the bringing everything together you okay. know so yeah oh my god it's so it, it it'll it'll flow so smoothly yeah. mm-hmm. well not at first maybe but yeah. <laughs> eventually eventually yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I did want to talk about big like, thing two. the big thing about today and i don't mean no. to interrupt you but i wanted to understand yeah, yeah. but the big thing about today was so much white noise and everybody trying to grab for attention everyone trying to be controversial instead of trying to be controversial if you have a point that's actually controversial you won't have to try you won't have to fight for the attention yeah it'll, yeah. it'll flow to you that's, that's true you know? that's true it'll help break up that white noise of all all these people just it's just the same shit over and over. But yeah. when you actually have something that's that's solid, it's substance. It's like, whoa, what is what is this? It actually makes a little bit of sense. <laughs> yeah, I think I think a lot has to do a lot because like a lot of people's like businesses have are like revolve around spirituality being like correlated with conscious or like having a neurologic correlated to consciousness because mm-hmm. it'll be a revolve mm-hmm. around like. Some either like supplements about like I obviously know about how supplements affect like the body and their how it's good for the body and all that like that's awesome but like saying the same thing like this supplement is gonna give you like enlightenment and like raise your kundalini mm-hmm. and all that stuff that's what I'm like, ah, like you know. yeah I mean like, you can even say, you can yeah. even get the practice because since there's so many people saying it. You could you could start by actually reviewing some of the things people say, like fact checking it. Like, okay, so they're telling you the this pill is going to do this for your um, consciousness. Okay, well let's look at what it does for the body, 
okay, you can see that part, but it doesn't do anything here, you know, kind of shit. Like, well, yeah. just to sort of, because there's so much of it out here. Yeah, it can help you get get a get a, a grip on on how to start challenging the, the common stuff like practice sparring. Does that yeah. make sense? No, it does. And that's what I need. Like, I think I need the kind of like the conflict. I think I feel like I've been avoiding it for so long, and that's part of like the line. I think that's where the line thing comes into. So the line, like mm-hmm. the conflicts, have been avoided at least yeah. for like the time being. Um, no, I get it. A lot of people are conflict avoiding. It's, it's very natural, you know. There's a lot of risk involved with getting into a conflict, but you know, when you're willing to to risk that risk, <laughs> you get the reward. Or you yeah. die trying. But I mean, you die trying. I mean, you die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to talk about two more. I wanted to bring up like two more things. I just uh huh. Um, it was. The po the your recent posts about not wanting to feel like mm. stupid, mm-hmm. not wanting to feel stupid, and then that with shadow work that came up uh, doing like, like ancestor ritual was basically when I was I, a lot of my spirituality in the beginning was just like running away from Islam and like not wanting to like deal with the emotions that I had with that Mm -hmm. Um, um, so one was basically like when I'm doing my like the practices that I'm doing now it was uh, basically like I did my Islamic rituals and prayers more fervent or like with more like zeal and like I guess like righteous passion whatever you want to call it mm-hmm. like when I believed in that, that framework then what then what's been happening like recently and then like mm-hmm. I started questioning like why is that cause like I, when I was Muslim I would do like like I'd be on top of my like Islamic stuff and then when I got into like my occult or like magical practices, it wasn't like that disciplined. And it was more of like, I had like the battle of like, oh, well, like if, if I'm the authority, like I cannot do it. Like, you know, like, I'll have to do it, you know? <laughs> like, I can get the same results by just like, like thinking I did it. Or like saying that I got the results, of, you know. Like, I can yep. just say I got the results of doing it oh. because it's my authority, anyways. I, I was like trying to yep. like that type of shit, you know. So mm-hmm. it wasn't until oh. I started like oh really like questioning that shit that like because I would pray like on time every day, like m- m- multiple times a day, like all that type of shit, and like even outside in public. So like if I was with my like Muslim friends, and it was like we're at the mall, and it's like mugger time. I'll be like, all right, like we gotta go pray. And like sometimes, like I, I remember specifically, I was out with like three or four friends, mm-hmm. and they didn't want to pray. And I'm like, yo, like what, what are you talking about? Right? <laughs> I was like, exactly. I was like, what? Like, right? It's time to pray. Like, <laughs> but you I prayed that just right there and there's like people passing by and stuff like that. But like in my mind, I'm like, I'm like, like we're the ones who are like doing the right thing. Like we're praying like, like these people are not, you know, it was like, I guess that's how I like framed it. But it's like, I'm doing what I'm doing, like, because like God told me to do it. And it's, it's for that reason. It's not for like, it don't matter if people look at me funny because my intention is like higher than that. Mm-hmm. Like, not to say mm-hmm. that, like, I purpose. didn't care. Yeah. So, like, I did care that people might look at me funny, but, like, I cared more that God would look at me funny or something. Yes! You know, like, <laughs> yeah. Yes! Yes! yes. I, lo- I lost that. I lost that, like, aspect. Mm-hmm. Like, going into, like, magic and spirituality. But, and I think through the shadow work, I'm, like, getting that back. But yep. from yes. this new perspective. Mm. Yeah. 
No, I, I fucking love that. I fucking oh, bro. It's because what what I love about that is, like you said, you weren't you you were worried that people would look. You know, of course you were concerned. And you weren't dishonest with yourself about that, but you were willing to face that for what it is you think was true, what you believe, yeah, and exactly. that's the gusto you still need. Like when you yeah. can, when you can, when you can move in your life. Like that karma, that karma sign is on your hand for real, and, and it requires you to do something. Fuck what these people think if I look weird. <laughs> I need to do this right now. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, like yeah. that's the kind of shit that makes something real for you. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh my god! And, and see, that's the courage. That's that was the courage. Then it was the. Yeah, I'm scared of this. Yeah, I don't want this to happen. But fuck that. I got to go do this. And I'm yeah. going to face the thing I'm scared of. Instead of just, you know, saying it doesn't exist or saying no one's ever scared or, you know, some 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 ridiculous thing to not admit to it. So yeah, it's because, like, the consequences I, I of, like, that. not doing... The consequences of, like, not doing that were, like, like greater than, than if I did, did it. Yeah, yeah. No, the, the, your priorities were ch were different, you know. And, and yeah. when you get into the narcissistic nihilism, the only thing that's a priority is is you and what you want or what you feel like you want, you know. And then every, everything else, yeah. you can't really be yeah. disciplined to anything. You can't be dedicated to anything. You all you can just really do is do whatever you feel like doing. Mm. That's literally what it was. Yeah, and and I had to go through that though. I guess to like to understand that I needed mm -hmm. like, like what what Islam was basically giving me and like what it what it did for me because yeah like it was like looking like it was because there's, there's a lot of like power in it because like the shit yes. that I was doing like if I was if I was to apply that like now which I'm like going to work on like that shit would be crazy you know like yes <laughs> like yes. And, like I, I know like there's like they're like other Muslim people are like, doing more stuff like like not to say that the people around me weren't doing stuff but I know that like the stuff I was doing when I was Muslim like what I was doing like way more than the minimum basically mm -hmm. and that's a lot of you'll get I've heard that um regularly from from some people who, who've left religion is that you'll have some of these cases where the person who who left religion was like they were the most down for whatever like christianity or muslim at the time like they were if anyone in their family was doing it it was them you know and then it's like well damn it, i i don't know what's real now but yeah. it's, it's it's that same that same dedication you had to it is the dead is a dedication you have in you but you're, you're starting to, to to re uh rediscover it i guess you could say yeah oh i fucking love that man. i fucking love that yeah <laughs> Yeah, and I love your uh, your willingness to allow yourself to to accept parts of Islam. Because I know a lot of people spend their time, so much of their time, trying to run away from Christianity. Like if there's if there's a Jesus on it at all, it's just a hundred percent wrong. Or no, you yeah, know, no, it's just I, like... I felt that way too. No, I definitely felt that way before too. But it's like uh -huh. I think it's like I knew though, like I. At some level, I knew I was like lying to myself about that, so it didn't like because I knew that like Islam was doing something for me, obviously, because of like the just like the results of the discipline, like just it could be any, it could be like a uh, discipline to anything that'll have like fruits that like cross, I guess like cross fields. So it's like if one person is mm -hmm. dedicated to something. Like the rewards of that, you can see in someone's life, I guess. Mm -hmm. And like, mm -hmm. so mm. me just being dedicated to Islam, like that was just like, just by doing that, like it was doing stuff for me. Even in like, yeah. like even in like school, like when I was I was at college at the time, and I was taking my final, and I had it was again it was pray time. So I told my I told my teacher I'm like, yo, I gotta go pray. Like, and he's like, oh, can you? You wait till after the final. I'm like, definitely not. Like, it's time right now. <laughs> like, you gotta tell him. 
And then like after that, I, he he told me after he's like, he was like he he let me pray in the back. And then after that, he was like, um, like it's nice to see a student like, like, like believing, like really, in, like what they're doing or something like that. And then like mm -hmm. just like he looked at me differently just from something that I thought I was just like, yo, I gotta do this. Stand like have no intention. Your yeah. Yes. And. I realized that in my like spirituality, like I was missing that that element, which I needed to like take back. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ah. Oh, oh, fuck yes. Well, wow, man, see, so you yeah. acting like you have a hard time articulating shit, bro. That was great. Oh man. <laughs> yes. Because you, 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 you articulated the thing that, that you were missing and, and what you needed. Like, I don't think I could have said it like that. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's that willingness, that dedication to it, you know? And, like, life is hollow and it sucks when the only thing you're dedicated to is, is just you. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so, ugh, fuck yes. Because yeah. there's, there's no like, there was no like bearings in that life I was living. Mm -hmm. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like meditating right now. All right, I'll, I'll go meditate, and then like the next day, that time, it's like, I don't feel like it, but like I know I should. So I'm gonna just like, I'm gonna just like draw this sigil, stare at it, and it's gonna be the same thing as me doing a meditation for 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm only going to have a sigil for 30 seconds. Oh, like, oh, like, you know, like, it will be like, I'm going to make up like some random ass shit. You know? uh, it's like, ah. Oh. Oh, oh, man. No, that hit good. I love, oh my God. I remember that shit, bro. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Thinking I'm going to replace 30 minutes of real work with 30 seconds of <laughs> confidence and feel good. Let's stop. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> I remember trying to do shit like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's... it's For real, though. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's something you got to go through. Yeah. It's, yeah. And I, I think the biggest thing that religion gives for people is, is it gives you a sense of self in the world you live in, you know, it, it, yeah. that cosmological connection, I think is the, the biggest thing, because that's why people fall into the nihilistic narcissism is because they don't know how to connect themselves to the world around them anymore. You know, it, it's just, yeah, exactly. everything seems like a lie. <laughs> yeah. I remember like, I was in, when I went through the phase of like, not believing in Islam and believing in Islam, I was like, it was like 2017 and I was on the board for like, uh, so in colleges they have like a, a Muslim student union and there's like an umbrella organization for like the Muslim student union on all the west side. It's like California, Oregon, Arizona, and I think maybe Texas now, I'm not too sure. But basically I was on the board for the umbrella organization and I was like heavily involved in like Islamic community and stuff like that and then like I started going through all this stuff so it was like all like I mean I haven't really, even really talked to like my Muslim friends from back then which like I, I plan on doing so soon like meeting up with some of them but that talk is gonna be something it's just like <laughs> like from their perspective it's like just like total life <laughs> oh yes I can only imagine, like, cause my, I mean, I, I got that from like my family. Like my family's like, oh my gosh, you used to be like, so like, basically like good Muslim, blah, blah, blah. And like now, like you're not being Muslim anymore. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, so I can <laughs> we don't only know what's imagine, happened to you. like, I can only imagine, yeah, <laughs> no, like for real, no, like I've got that so many times. So it's like, I can only imagine like what other, like from their perspective, I kind of like want to, I want to know from their, like, what it looks like from their perspective. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that would be interesting to see, you know, what they think. Because you'd be surprised, man. The only thing that don't, the only thing that don't change is that shit is always changing, man. People, people, people will surprise you when you give them space to. 
even though I hate to say it because I want to be mad and petty, but people will change when you give me, people will surprise you. You know, it, oh, I, w I would be interested in hearing what, what difference they see or what they think or even where they're at. Yeah. You know? Because mm. I know, like, I know with some of, like, my Muslim friends, I would, like, when I was going through this, I would, like, talk to them about it. And mm -hmm. the big thing that even one of them, I remember talking to them about it, and we were both at the same point. But then, like, we were both like, oh, we're scared of going to hell. And, like, what's what's after that? So it's, like, scared of going to hell and just, like, the fear of that. And then I, I like, went through that. And he didn't want it. Like, he was just like, I'm, I'm not chancing it, basically. Like, on the off, he's like, he's like, he's like, I don't really believe in it. But on the off chance that it's true, I'm going to just be on the safe side. And, like, to me, like, to me, I wasn't like, it didn't, it didn't hold for me. Like, I wanted to do it, but I knew that, like, eventually I wouldn't. So I was just like, man, mm -hmm. we'll just go through that now. Right, you'd have just ended up back at that same point later if you'd have, if you'd have lied to yourself about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was mm -hmm. a bit like going to hell. It's just like, ah, oh, shoot, because they get you with that from the beginning. Mm hmm, yeah, yeah, and it's all kind of oh, what and <clears throat> you know, what for, for most people, uh, just like you saw, for most people, that's enough, you know, that's a enough to keep them from from diving into a train of thought that they may never be able to come back from, you know? Yeah. So, because you, you, just like you see with a lot of folks out here in the spiritual community who don't believe in anything or believe in everything, which is basically the same thing, um, yeah. they they get really delusional. They, they, they say, we do all kinds of stuff that just, they don't, add up and i'm not saying that in a judgmental way i'm saying it in a way is it's 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 difficult to build a cosmology from scratch on your own it's easy to say christianity is a lie or, or islam is a lie and then jump out into the wilderness of of in infinity and start building a whole new cosmology those things are difficult they can tear you apart you know it's it it ain't no yeah. joke <laughs> and so religion it helps keep you steady in existence. You know, we, we use stuff like that to build, you know, huge empires of families and cultures and civilizations. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not because, it, you know, some people will think it's as simple as, well, it's not real. It's not true. Well, you're going to want to stay away from talking about what's real or what's true because you may break yourself. Because that's really what yeah. you're talking about. What is real? What does that mean? What does true mean? Because those are philosophical questions. And they, it's a lot more than people give it credit for. Especially the word true. Motherfuckers love to say true this and true that. But don't actually explore the idea of what makes something true. Mm. They're, they're big yeah. things to have to contend with. They're large ideas to have to contend with. And you can come to some trouble troubling conclusions and for somebody who's who's fucking picking turnips for the community you don't need to have to contend with that to, yeah. to get through your day you know for, for somebody who's, who's who's making sure all the women in the community uh get their babies delivered she don't need to be continuing contending with existential questions exactly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know is and because that, that's what you got to do when you go out here and you're like okay well fuck all the religion all that's wrong i, I i'm gonna figure it out well you're gonna have to contend with some of the largest questions ever and they, they don't have yeah. pretty answers that don't feel good yeah <laughs> because like it's like there's a reason why like, there's a reason why these religions have been around for like thousands of years like still, still mm -hmm. kicking <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and, and and I and I really I really do look forward to seeing what what comes of of you um, re exploring where you've been with Islam with your new newfound perspectives and what types of things especially you know when you talk to your Islamic friends because you know maybe you may be able to say something you couldn't have said years ago that they could hear yeah mm -hmm. 
You know, no, so yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely gonna be interesting. So I, I didn't think like at least before I I wouldn't have been able to like conceive of like not like going back, but just like even like like contending with the idea that it, it wasn't how I thought it was. Like it's not like mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. oh, like. Mm. I was betrayed and I was a lie. I was fed a lie and blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh! It's the it's that the embarrassment. Yeah, the, the looking foolish, the looking ridiculous. Oh, as long as because I I try to go out of my way to not avoid it. When I'm worried about it, I I just know go ahead, go ahead and lean it a little bit. Go ahead and feel it because it's not going to be as bad as you thought it was, but. Yeah, that embarrassment will stop a lot of people from being honest with themselves about what the situation is, you know. And it's hard for it's hard to have clarity when you can't be honest with yourself. Fuck. I think a lot of like where I like getting, I guess, it's like the courage to like take these steps that I wouldn't have before is that when I think about like I have to explain things to like my son, and like when I think about that. And like how I would have had it explained to me. It's like what what I have right now, uh, it was just like emotional arguments about like my feelings. So it's like okay, I got I try to learn I try to build like my son's like philosophical foundation about like how I yes. feel about certain shit, you know? Like mm. so. Yeah. Oh man, see it, it, that that's 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 the kind of shit that, that I like because it's it's outside of the realm of this narcissistic nihilism where nothing matters you don't care about anything and so you don't do anything but just having that little bit of something you care about in all this world leads you to create something to build something that wasn't here before that maybe not just him will benefit from like i love that shit man yeah just the small, small shit oh fuck yes y'all you know, make me happy this is fun mm -hmm. oh yeah <laughs> no yeah this has definitely been really helpful for me yeah not a problem bro and um um just, just because you're in the guild you know if whatever you want to jump on and jump in the voice chat and talk and try and catch up on on where you're at on stuff not a problem i'm uh open to doing that we can we can jump on that whenever um but yeah this has been fucking fun dude this is uh i love this shit yeah and then tomorrow, are we gonna? Uh, are you gonna go live? Are you gonna do your show? And then are we gonna talk about uh, that, or are you going? Are you gonna go live with that other guy? Uh, that I, uh, I'm not that going I'm, live with the little dreadheaded kid, but I am going to make an example of him. And, uh, <laughs> he, he and, and I quote: "He uh, he wants me to use my voice." Oh God! This uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be yeah, having fun with tomorrow morning. The but I will. The lightsaber shit killed me. Is that what you think lightsabers <laughs> are? The lightsaber is not just me. Like, what? My <laughs> wife was listening to that. That's the part where she had to stop. Like, he just. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> and so that, that, that one, that one, and then when you said he was huh? like. When you when you the left hand and the right hand, you put them together, they become one hand. <laughs> so I was like, hey. Bro, it's like, I'm about, to, I'm, about to eat. I'm about to eat. I'm about to eat. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we got fun with it. But I, I, after the show, uh, later in the evening, I will be doing office hours for people in the guild. So if you manage to, if you want to, either way, I'm going to be there. That's how I okay. do it. Right. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get up, up off of here, man. I gotta get in here and get some rest. For this sure. has been excellent, though. Yeah. All right, man. Have a wonderful Appreciate evening. It. You too. Bye. Peace. <laughs>